So, this is my little preview on a match that is kind of set in stone, essentially. We're seeing a build towards it, and there's going to be no match elimination chamber for it to conclude, so uh, it might happen. John Cena versus, versus Bray Wyatt, WrestleMania, 30, 30th anniversary of WrestleMania. Bray Wyatt's first ever match is going to be against the, one of the biggest stars in the company, John Cena, a person that hasn't had... Other than The Rock versus uh, John Cena, he hasn't been in his whole entire WrestleMania career. He hasn't been in a singles match without a title, which is yeah, it's kind of weird. The Rock was a, a whole different scenario. That was just a that was a dream match. People were waiting for, begging to happen for years upon years for The Rock to come back. Who would he face? And that big name was John Cena. But John Cena versus Bray Wyatt, I remember when the story broke out uh, late December, around Christmas, uh, when it was like slow news, nothing was really happening, all of a sudden the news site says reported John Cena versus Bray Wyatt, people thought it was a work, uh, it wasn't going to happen, it was just some story that they made up, uh, supposedly it was just a plan for WrestleMania 30 that was, uh, it was going to happen before they unify the titles, maybe Bray Wyatt win the Royal Rumble or something, maybe Bray, maybe Bray Wyatt win the number one contendership, and face John Cena at the WrestleMania 30 for the World Heavyweight Championship. It's just weird that it's his first ever WrestleMania, he's going up against John Cena. Uh, we go into the Royal Rumble match in 2000, well, this past Royal Rumble, and uh, he then, Bray Wyatt beats Daniel Bryan, then goes up and then attacks John Cena and costs him out of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, essentially. Um, he's now feuding with the Shield. Or he's probably going to get a win over them at, at the Elimination Chamber to plant seats for them to break up and him to move on into um, facing John Cena. It's just that he had a really good match with the Royal Rumble, but you got to give Daniel Bryan more credit than not for actually helping Bray Wyatt have that excellent match. But really, Bray Wyatt really hasn't had any significantly ma significantly good matches. He uh, he had a match with Kane, but that was like a lot of smoke and mirrors. It wasn't that spectacular. Just the, the fire around the ring. That's what drew people to watch that match. Uh, he was in that tag match at TLC. He hasn't been really in any single matches, and when he has, it's just been mediocre. It's been un it's been forgettable, um, and nothing like big. But he really hasn't actually wrestled a lot on TV. He's had matches here and there, but they're really mainly squash matches more than anything else. Like, the opponent gets a couple offense moves, but other than that, Bray Wyatt gets the majority of the victory, a majority of the match and gets the win. And, um, you know, I don't see, I don't see, like, John Cena pulling up a great match with Bray Wyatt. Maybe I could be 100% wrong on this, but, like, the style is Bray Wyatt is more of a slow, methodical wrestler. John Cena is more of a brawler. Uh, unless they put like it, them inside like a, a no disqualification match, I don't see them having a really excellent 20 minute one on one singles match. I, obviously, John Cena is probably going to have at least 15, 20, maybe 25 minutes pushing it. Probably not, but um, he is top guy. He's, they're obviously going to give him some time. They're not going to have this match 10 minutes at WrestleMania. I don't saw it. It's just weird. Like you could you could do. You could do Cena Taker. Why not do Cena Taker? But I guess in the company's eyes, they see Brock Lesnar versus the Undertaker as a bigger match and more people want to see than Undertaker versus John Cena. And since John Cena's kind of left in the dust when you really book WrestleMania 30, it's just weird having Bray Wyatt. Like I thought, it, why would you? Why would you have Bray Wyatt versus the Shield Elimination Chamber? Kind of like a, a B level pay per view. At least have it at WrestleMania where it's a big stage and it's like a huge deal at the Wyatt's win at WrestleMania. The Shield finally breaks up almost a year and a half after the making of the Shield, the creation of the Shield. But um, what do you think of John Cena versus Bray Wyatt? I for this match, I think Bray Wyatt has to go over. I think um, if you want to build up this guy to the top and you put him up to face Cena, I, I think just having him with Cena helps him. But actually giving him a, a pinfall victory over John Cena at WrestleMania, um, that's a huge deal, and you, boom, you got you got a star right there, you got a, one of the, a top heel in your company, because if you look at the roster right now, it's really thin, and who do you really got as top heels? Not really anyone, and the report's coming out that Del Rio wants to leave, that's one of your major heels leaving the company, you have Orin, Triple H doesn't wrestle, if you turn Batista, that'll probably help, and then you need at least three top heels, and um, seeing Roman Reigns is really a heel, he's more of a tweener, he's probably going to turn face. 
if it's uh, if it's Wyatt, you got you got the Wyatt, you got Randy Orton, you got Batista, and then you got Roman Reigns, you got John Cena, and you got Daniel Bryan, and that's pretty much your top six guys since Punk left. So um, I think Bray Wyatt has to be John Cena, and then if he beats John Cena, and uh, they he get feuded out after after Extreme Rules or something, and um, if Daniel Bryan wins the title, and then then you got a match, you got a main storyline right right there. Daniel Bryan wins a championship. Uh, Bray Wyatt is being Daniel Bryan in a singles match, clean in the middle of that ring. So uh, there you have it. That's like a main storyline right there. And Bray Wyatt's proven that he beat John Cena. Daniel Bryan's being John Cena. So they're two top established guys you're trying to build in the company, which a new fresh feud and new new faces. Uh, and like new two new people uh, as a top main eventers. So there you have it, John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. What do you think of this match? I think uh, if it's gonna happen, Bray Wyatt has to win. So there's my thoughts on the match. Thank you for watching my video today. If you enjoyed this video, that is all. Yeah.